Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to crown one more champion tonight. It has been a remarkable night here at Winner Takes All Seven. And we've watched these two athletes rid all comers to get into the final matchup. One of them will be leaving with a Glacier portable ice bath and 10,000 Rand, as well as the coveted light heavyweight title. From the red corner, please welcome Brandon Bad News Nordia. His opponent from the blue corner, please welcome Jason, the Vanilla Gorilla, Durant. Your referee, Bobby Karajanidis. Well, we are in the business end of tonight, uh, Taffy. Probably one half of the finalists that uh, people would have expected, the other half not so much. Not taking away from either competitor, but um, you know, a fantastic showing and a lot of experience by Brandon to bring it to the final. Um, as we see Jason trying to enter the legs there, uh, we talked about we hadn't seen much uh, judo on offer tonight, but there was a, a leg trip on offer there. Yep. So for me, it's interesting. <coughs> the young man has uh, clearly maintained his um, approach to the game and uh, stepping up to the plate, as he rightfully should, because he's he should be here. I mean, he's, he's won two fights, and this is his third, so it's going to be interesting. Um, Bad news is obviously a little bit more experienced, and uh, I don't know. It looks heavier as well, right? Uh, yeah, bad, bad news, uh, I believe a number of weeks ago was walking around at 111 kgs. So a lot of weight drop to get to the 93 kg limit. Made it uh, quite comfortably, um, but, you know, uh, three matches in uh, may, may have a heavy toll on your gas tank. Uh, but we can only assume, uh, not judging from the performances though, I mean, this is the man that is in the final. And then on Jason's side, you know, he's young, he's uh, aspirational, he's uh, trying to look to make his way to Poland. Um, and with performances like this, uh, maybe... Did maybe he compete at Cape Town at the ADCC? Why didn't he compete there? Uh, no, he, he decided to concentrate on okay. on the winner takes all. And uh, but, but this is why this competition is so important to him, because the, uh, the prize money could help him get out to Poland. I uh, see. Yeah. So opting to fund his own way there. Makes sense. Makes sense. There we go. Some, you know, reminiscent of the earlier matches from uh, Jason's standpoint, looking to close that guard, uh, break posture, um, probably start to scoop one of those legs. Opens up the guard, looking to potentially enter there. Um, shoulder crunch and offer as he starts to spin into potentially an omoplata. No, legs are too low there. Um, mm. Focusing focusing now on, oh, on the leg entry. Oh, when I see people inverted, it gives me chills, especially heavyweights or light heavyweights. You know, um, Big guy shouldn't invert. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having some nightmares from a, uh, from a Luke Griffith uh, inversion. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Um, so it's going to be interesting what happens here. But it, it kind of just shows how far the game has come. When um, at Look, least when I got into jujitsu, you expected big down inverts all the time. Well, yeah. that's exactly big it. down inverts all the time, but. Uh, and I'm being facetious by saying big guys shouldn't invert, but you know it's it all comes down to practice as well. Sure. Uh, but uh, when one of your training partners is chef, um, you will pay. <laughs> You're gonna pay either way, but <laughs> so you know, not really looking to invert most of the times, but 
Okay, back into this uh, favorite position of Jason right now. This close guard uh, looking to isolate that arm, yeah. uh, maybe for an arm crusher, and then he opens up that guard, uh, probably opting. Oh, there, there we go. Top lock, top lock was on there, um, but chose to get back to to the guard. Can't can open. There we go. Just thinking about a can opener there, I think. Some fantastic cornering coming out of uh, Brandon's Brandon's end. Um, he's listening well to that advice, um, and that's really extinguishing these uh, potential attacks and setups from from Jason Giant. Mm. Five minutes on the clock now as we as we start to get to the last five minutes that we, we will see tonight. Um, if, if bad news makes it to, uh, or if bad news ends up in the overtime rounds, that would be three overtimes. He's trying to get that buggy choke again. Bad news countering it quite well. He's looking at that folding pass. Um, mm. He's getting around the knees on the opposite side. But oh, there we go. Uh, another attempt towards the baggy choke. Uh, as you remember, against Wade Henderson, this was yeah. this was the beginning of the end for him. Indeed. And this is tight, eh? This is tight. There's a lot of pressure happening there. But uh, you can see that Jason's struggling to get the crease of his uh, arm uh, yeah. behind the knee line. And then you need the crease of the arm over there. Otherwise, you're just really extending your own arm. Oh, fantastic conversion from the north-south uh, position to regain his guard. But once again, uh, Brandon looking to clear that knee line, get over the top uh, on that chest and chest uh, half guard. He's, he's not entirely there, but he's in a very good position to complete that move. He's just pushing, no, Brandon is just pushing the pace now, right? In terms of pressure, staying on top. You know, exactly what we've been talking about earlier is just maintaining that weight at the top to ensure that your opponent basically is expending more energy than you are. Which is quite incredible given the time once we, uh, you know, we say, say again that he spent on the mat tonight. Mm. Uh, and, and the weight that he, he dropped to, to, to make this light heavyweight division. Brandon choosing to disengage there, uh, not not staying within that guard. I think, yeah. But then I mean, once again, flattening out. Jason's um, buggy chug is quite effective, as we saw earlier, uh, or as Wade learned earlier. <laughs> um, so you know, if somebody does that and takes somebody out and, in a, in a well-stacked bracket, it's, it's important to pay attention and adapt to it. The inversion by Jason once again, but uh, Brandon Wise Jet trying to drop his posture down and put so all that weight on the bottom on leg. There maybe. Slip in that, that oh, second arm right. so that the triangle armor. is not threatened. And we have two minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in this fascinating end to the eight man. Uh, a reminder to those at home these uh, two competitors on the mat have already gone through two rounds of uh, fights tonight. Oh, that's, that's a strong cross face across the face, but as Jason steps up into that mount position, Brandon making sure that he gets his hands to the hip, hips. Um, Jason threatening this mother choke, putting a lot of pressure. I think he's got something there because the way Bad News is now reacting. Oh! <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Fantastic call by my co-commentator, like... Taffy. Um, Observing that submission attack. Bro, and, I uh, know it too well, eh? I do to people. <laughs> and we are there once again. Um, 
you know, called it. I said, this lady is going to win it, <laughs> if you remember. Oh. As you walked through, I said, Jason, no happy, final is, happy as can be. Uh, this brilliant. will help his efforts to get out in Poland, where he could, of course, showcase uh, uh, further South African skill on the global map. Beautiful, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful matchup. Great to see. Great talent on show today, Ty. Fantastic you know, talent uh, on show. Jason you know, gets his hand raised and the belt put around his waist. Uh, match deserved. Um, excellent submission rate throughout the tournament. South Africa's punching some big tickets. And, you know, we've got great talent on display. You know, we've got Chad next week, you know, in the Dana White Contender Series. Um, obviously, Trickers, you know, there's various other guys as well. Uh, that don't are doing don't their forget thing. My, my friend Monique. Uh, I was, was going to leave my started. sister, yeah. my, my angry <laughs> killer sister. Who will be competing this week on the uh, IBJJF scene. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, um, absolutely. And, uh, but, but let's pause that for a second because it's all about our champion right now, Jason Durant, as he approaches uh, CS Duplessis. We were looking at a couple more highlights uh, just before we switch over there. And uh, you can see the pressure that he's uh, utilizing on that cross face, but then he drops down into the smother choke and gets the tap. Smother 101. Bro. Wonderful, wonderful effort. Smother, you know, just that pillow under the neck and the other hand to control the head. And yeah, come and have some mother's milk. Ladies and gentlemen, I am with your champion, Jason Durant. How does that feel? You are now the man with a belt around your waist. Yeah, it feels amazing, eh? All the hard work I've put in the past six, seven years. Reese being there by the side, pushing me, choking me, putting me to sleep. It's been amazing. I'm so grateful for getting this. Take it back home to Pesfer. I'm sure everybody's happy there. Chris has got a smile on his face. I'm stoked. It's about time Chris has another smile on his face, hey. But um, let's talk about Brandon. How tough was he? Because, um, you know, coming through all these rounds, putting your body on the line, and also, let's not forget, you're at altitude. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Um, altitude's obviously a factor. Luckily, I just came up today, so didn't affect me too much. Um, but yeah, Brandon's super tough, super heavy. Yeah, I'm stoked I got another submission, some more cash. Exactly, and an ice bath, which I mean is, comes in very handy, right? Yeah, I'll definitely use it tomorrow. He says he wants to do five minutes. <laughs> See how it goes. <laughs> I've got to ask you, what's next? Uh, i got Poland in two weeks, so I'm going to give it everything i got and hopefully come back on top. Well, Jason, congratulations. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Jason, the vanilla gorilla, Durant. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to switch off to a quick ad break. Group, not just your local dealership, but the motoring team dedicated to your vehicle needs. Whether you are looking to buy a new or used car online or in one of our many dealerships, our trained staff will be there to guide you. With our state-of-the-art service centers, products and parts, we guarantee peace of mind. The CMH Group isn't just the first choice, we are the only choice. Visit your local CMH Group dealer.